Okay, good morning. I'm here at the Willard Street house. Um, beautiful sunny day, so the light in here is just gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to take you through the first floor first. Um, this is where I entered. So when I go outside, I'll, I'll show you the front porch and everything. But um, So you have a very small little entry mudroom um, that's closed off. This would probably not be your main point of entry daily. Um, you would be coming in through the, the garage. So when you walk in, um, foyer, beautiful stairs. We'll get to those. Um, kitchen through this way. There's a coat closet here. Beautiful detailing on these. Um, overall, I mean, the home is in wonderful condition. Um, it has the kind of creaks and, and bumps and quirks of a house of this age, um, but it really is beautiful. Like you can see the original glass, the wavy glass. Um, sidewalk on the street right out here. So this is the living area, the formal living area, I would say. That's gonna be natural gas, fireplace. This is a big space um, for a house of this age. And then this is sort of an office piano room they're using it as. These windows are lovely and in wonderful condition. Okay, so as we walk through here to the formal dining, Detail on the walls, really lovely, tasteful. And then, so you can either go into the kitchen this way, or there are French doors here that take you to this sort of family room. Um, crystal clear lake views. Um, like I said, it's a gorgeous day, so the views, um, are really spectacular today. And it's a nice backyard, fenced. <clears throat> I think it's wider than it is long, so, but it's it's a good span. I wish you could see that porch, but we got about a foot of snow yesterday, or that deck. Um, but I think there's photos of that on the listing. So these windows are new, in wonderful condition. They do open here and here, so you get the airflow. Um, there we go. We have the mini splits here for supplemental heat and air conditioning. I just put those exact same ones in my house and I love them. And then there's a little sort of breakfast area here. And then we get into the kitchen. Kitchen, obviously redone. They did a wonderful job. The layout is really nice. So this is gonna be like a pantry area. They're doing a little breakfast area and then just well laid out and functional. Cute microwave, um, newer appliances, granite on the countertops, tasteful backsplash. Um, okay, so you have two ways down to the basement. <laughs> Um, this way, I will take you down that way, and then I'm going to bring you back up this way. So the space down there could be used as an apartment or storage or just extra living space. It is heated, finished, and really nice. Oh, um, sorry, in these floors, I don't believe these are original, but they were made to match those, which I believe are original. They're all in very good shape. Um, couple of like wear spots, just a couple like here, but that would be very easy to have refinished. These floors still have plenty of life in them. Okay, so I'm gonna head down this way. I think this is probably the way that you would enter the home most of the time. Um, so here's an unfinished part, tons of storage. You can tell they have all their coats and everything. It's cool down here, but it could be heated. Um, the finished part is easily heated. 
This is also a garage. You can see the door goes up. So you could very well put your car in here. And then this is the walkout to the yard and deck. And we'll go in here in a minute. There's your electrical panel, which was recently upgraded. I will send you all of that. Um, so here you have covered carport. And then, like I said, you could open this up if you wanted to and pull another car in here. So for the, fin the finished apartment, the kitties are in here, so I'm going to be really careful of the doors. Um, and I will note, I have a, an extremely sensitive nose. Um, I do not smell cat at all, which is really impressive because they have most of the kitty stuff down here. Um, so, gosh, this would make a great income property. Uh, you could rent this out. We could certainly talk about that if that's on the table. But you could rent this out, close it off from upstairs, and really do well especially in this location um just some under the stair storage they're using this as an exercise room uh there's a heat zone down here so it's very warm feels great even with these tile floors my feet are not cold at all so fridge oh hi kitty <laughs> um, and then this goes up to the kitchen you're cute <laughs> um okay there like I said heat zone so you don't have like a real kitchen in here but college kids you know you have a fridge you can put a hot plate so you have a small shower um you know small bathroom here everything's in great shape um this is dated but very usable um you know can move right in so they're using this as their laundry room. Um, there are laundry hookups in the master bath. They decided to not have their laundry up there and they use it as extra closet storage space, but you could easily, um, you know, if you did rent this out or if you didn't want to come down here for laundry, you could very easily move it back upstairs. Then just some extra storage. Oh, sorry, that was a sub panel out there. Um, here's your electrical panel. They upgraded to 220 electric vehicle chargers. Um, this is all recently done and I applaud them for that because I just got a quote for that. It's not pretty. Um, several heat sources here. This is your radiant boiler. This is an oldie, but goodie. Um, not a lot of moving parts. This is, this is an old system. Um, I would say this is probably the most likely to have to be replaced in the next five to 10 years, but gosh, we've seen them last forever. So if they're working well, why replace? Um, so a few different heat systems, like I said, so this is for your radiant. There's a furnace here. This is new and this is blowing your forced hot air. Um, and then a new enormous water tank. You will never run out. So, you know, I have a similar setup in my own home, which is older, and um, I have the same thing, like forced hot air, and then this is also, this system also has central air for the parts of the house that this goes to, um, which I also have, and then an old boiler. So my old boiler finally went, we replaced it with, you know, one of the nice new ones that you hang on the wall, um, and actually I've had more problems with that than our nice old system, but... Anyway, um, mechanicals seem to be extremely well maintained. They do a nice job. I like to see that. So, all right, I'll walk you out here. Um, hopefully the kitty will <laughs> let me pass. You know what? I'm going to go the other way. <laughs> he doesn't look thrilled with me. Um, okay. And I always do this, so now I need to climb two flights of stairs, so you'll hear me, you know, panting by the time I get up to the second floor. Okay. <clears throat> oh. All right, going back up. So this is where I would have come out if the cat wasn't looking at me so ominously. Could be very friendly, but I don't know. 
Oh, I forgot to show you, sorry. Um, also on the first floor, there is a, a bath. Um, you know, probably treat this more like a powder room, but you do have this beautiful closet tub. If you ever wanted to use that, and the lighting in here is beautiful. Doesn't show as well on camera, but it's just warm and homey, really beautiful. So, these stairs are to die for. And I have really big feet, so I really appreciate, especially in this age of home, a nice long, um, you know, tread where I can fit my whole foot on it. Appreciate that. The stained glass to die for. Absolutely beautiful. And so well preserved. Um, the wood floors continue up here. So nice wide stairs as well. A lot of times in these homes you'll find narrow, steep stairs. And I don't know if they redid these or what, but um, I do really appreciate the comfort of them. Um, okay, four bedrooms up here. This one I get, oh wait, there is a closet, sorry. So really nice windows, very small closet there. And then another bedroom here. Oh, the light today is just gorgeous. I'll show you the sort of a closet size, you know. They're not huge, but you still have plenty of storage here. So these two are overlooking the South Willard Street side. And then... Um, there's a, a bath for these bedrooms. More stained glass. Just a regular tub shower combo. And then one more bedroom here. Looks like they're using any sort of bunks. And then there's a master suite. You hear the little creaks. I love it. Um, they did an amazing job with this. So you come into the master suite, they have redone the bathroom, radiant floors. They feel so nice on my feet, which are very cold. They did a beautiful job with the shower. You can see the light. They left these original windows up there. Beautiful granite here. This is updated. And then this is where the washer dryer was and see they left those connections so you could very easily put it back here if you wanted to okay so that's a closet you have another small closet here but there's better better closets coming uh this view they're killing me today so that's all lake. Um, just beautiful west facing. Um, this is a very large room. You have your mini split here to make sure that you're warm or cold. This room is very long. There's a floor plan, so I'm sure you saw that. But um, So then you have a closet that runs the entire span of this wall, which is excellent closet space. Oh, and let's see. So that's your neighbor. And then, whew, it's bright. And then you're looking down at your garage there. But I mean, that view is incredible. And then they have these shades. They are on, um, uh, they're motorized. At least that's what they said. I'm, Oh yeah, those are motorized shades. So, okay. I have not been upstairs <laughs> to that attic yet, so you're gonna come with me and I don't know what to expect, but let's do it. Carpeted, sort of narrow but comfortable. I can fit my whole foot on it. Oh, okay. It's like a little apartment up here. Very nice. Um, 
There's a deck. I'm not gonna go out there because they haven't really brushed it off, but you can see the Adirondacks right there. Just beautiful. And those will be year round because that'll go right through there. Very nice. All right, so they're just using this looks like as a, just another cozy space. There is a full bath up here. This would be a really excellent guest suite. Um, and another. Oh, they did put egress windows up here. So technically it could be um, a fifth bedroom. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, and that's about all for the interior. Um, overall, one of the the, the nicer and well-preserved sort of Queen Anne Victorians or craftsmen that I've seen. Um, yeah, see, there's a little kitchen up here. All right, very good. I'm gonna go down and do the inside.